New into stock, we have a uh, Toyota Hilux 2.5 D4D. It's the Icon double cab pickup four wheel drive. It's a 2015 on a 15 plate, done 29,150 miles. Full uh, Toyota service history, uh, done at uh, Radcliffe Road Garage. First and second, 2017 at 14,751 miles. And then the fourth or the fifth, 2018 at 24,722 miles. Uh, MOT till the 10th of the 10th, 2019, so just been done. And fuel economy, urban 32.8, extra urban 42.8, and uh, combined is 38.7. So real good fuel economy for a, a vehicle this size. Top speed of 106 miles per hour, and a 0 to 62 time of 15.2 uh, seconds out of a 142 brake horsepower engine. Just the sort of vehicle you need to be in on a day like this. So we've got the plastic wheel arch protectors, twin spoke alloy wheels, the chrome effect door mirrors, we've got rear privacy glass, roof bars, the uh, aluminium side steps, privacy glass on the truckman top here and also roof bars on that. The truckman top's a real handy addition and a real substantial tailgate on the back of the Toyota. Um, inside is fully lined with a uh, very heavy duty plastic load liner. The, the truckman top will come off, there's, there's three fasteners on each side. Um, rear privacy glass and an integrated spoiler. Uh, tow bar, we've got a reversing camera as well. I'll just show you in the back. Plenty of room in the back, the seats are really comfortable, finished in kind of a, a velour and, and cloth. Um, ideal for workmen, five of you and all your tools in the back and uh, all covered up as well. The back is also alarmed, so if you do leave anything in it and you set the alarm, if somebody opens the door, it will set the alarm off. Really uh, handy vehicle this. Proper key, remote with a blade and uh, an ignition lock. So a really nice clean car. Uh, you can get um, these that have been well abused and, and you know they're a real workhorse and they've been used for that this looks like it's been private use um, no scuffs in the back on the load line and no scuffs on the where, where you'd expect equipment to be loaded in on the bumper and so on all the seats are really really nice like absolutely brand new as is the the kind of plastic uh, door cappings um owning a toyota pickup is the next best thing to have in your own tank the the really unbreakable fantastic cars great things to be in on a day like this it's windy it's raining there's leaves all over the road it's a proper four-wheel drive with a big lever that you're banging and you know you're in four-wheel drive it's not automatic it doesn't change on its own you know it's in there and it's high and low as well um, nice comfortable seats Great Toyota gearboxes. Again, it's it's quite a long throw gearbox, and you know it's in. There's no uh, ambiguity about it. There you go, just clicks in through neutral, and then you feel it into the gear. <coughs> Watch your nose, doggy. Great heater in it as well, which is uh, coming in handy. Got air conditioning. It's also um, a reversing camera. I'll just uh, try and show you, or remember to show you. And we have power folding door mirrors. There you go. Just check there's nobody behind us, and there is. Is he coming this way? No, he's going the other way, so I can put it in 
reverse without frightening anybody to death. There you go, there's the reversing camera. A great diesel engine, it's pretty economical for the size of the vehicle, although um, most, the, the fuel economy, of course it depends what you're carrying, this has also got big roof bars on it as well, so uh, the first thing to do really, unless you're carrying ladders or anything on the top, is uh, get them roof bars off because they do create quite a bit of drag and quite a bit of wind noise as well. Here comes the rain. You can, uh, you can probably hear the wind noise it is quite bad off those roof bars, but if you need them, then that's something you have to put up with. Uh, but that would be the first thing I'd take off if I was using it. It would make a great private car, great private vehicle. Um, stick everything in the back, your mountain bikes, any, any sports equipment you have, and you know you're gonna get anywhere with the four wheel drive. The, uh, the noise from the roof bars is quite dreadful. Good tyres all round, nice um, twin spoke alloy wheels. Very, very nice aluminium um, side steps. No damage that I can see to the car anywhere. And it's a nice bright thing. And this, again, it, it always tells you a story. This is just how the vehicles come in. This hasn't been cleaned by ourselves. Um, it's just a very nice, honest vehicle that's, and you can tell it's not been cleaned, it's always been kept like this. Um, we're way behind at the moment of the cleaning, we're, we're um, selling cars as fast as we can get them and uh, we have no wish to get it any bigger so we, we have one detailer and there's two of us uh, who buy and sell cars and do the photography and the internet and all, all that. We, we don't want any more staff, we're quite happy the way it is. Uh, unfortunately, we, we're just um, at capacity at the moment, which is a good thing, it's a, it's a good thing, we're very busy. So it does help when we're taking vehicles to stock like this that don't need anything. It's a really nice driving position, you, you high up off the road, you can see over everything, you see everything in front, everything that's happening in the traffic, several cars in front. away, no lights flashing there. Get up to 70. It's a, it's only a five-speed gearbox. not really built for travelling up and down the motorway all the time, it's more country use and uh, local and carrying stuff and people, great crew cab so if you do, if you are buying it for work and there's a few of you, you can get all your tools in the back, 
and sit five people comfortably. 70 miles an hour, 2, 000, about 2,000, 2,100 revs. soaking up the bumps on the motorway. Just filter in. So also it's quite high up so you've got a, a grab handle there to help you get in and out, multifunction steering wheel, radio volume controls there, that, uh, let's just see what mode, <coughs> so the mode function there is changing the uh, radio display, it's uh, Bluetooth, looks like it will be Bluetooth audio as well when we get back to the garage, I'll show you how to uh, pair your mobile delete one and also uh, stream audio if it, if it does in fact do that. Nice clear display, left hand side rev counter, center your speedo, your odometer at the bottom and then coolant temperature and fuel gauge on the right. Headlamps are on the end of the indicator stalk. From my driving position I can't actually see the wiper stalk so uh, I can't tell you whether it's automatic or not. Everything's nicely to hand and all proper buttons and dials. Again, okay, each segment there is acknowledged with a click. I uh, can't switch them wipers off and just have a look while we're at it. So there we've got heated rear windscreen and also heated door mirrors. There's a, a USB in and also auxiliary. Can't see what that switch is there. Proper handbrake. Well, you think it was a bit late coming through the lights then? this um, around the radio and the door handles, the, the steering wheel, all this kind of uh, dull silver surround, nice contrast, pattern cloth in the centre and plain on the outside.
bit of roll in the body, not too much, but it does help you steer around corners. way over the hedges. It's a very, very high vehicle, this. Nice commanding seating position. There's a big bar on the back with the tow bar on it. Nice power bulge on the bonnet for the intercooler. And if you're uh, unsure as to how much punishment these Toyota pickups take, um, try and watch Top Gear Polar Challenge. And also, all the times Top Gear tried to uh, kill off another tow to pick up by blowing it up, leaving it in the sea. And uh, I'm not sure whether they had a wrecking ball on it as well. Really is a nice gearbox. There's a quad bike track on the docks, and um, I, uh, I, I I often think about having a word with him, having a word with him to see if he'll. Uh, let us just try the four-wheel drives over there, but it would be a shame to take this off-roading because it's, it's such a clean vehicle. be a great daily driver this
radio, CD, hands-free Bluetooth. Let's just see. Yes, Bluetooth audio streaming. Gordon Bennett. In a little bit of a hurry, um, we've got a, a customer coming over from the East Coast. I'm meeting him at the train easy for me to say, at the train station in a short while. One of the reasons why we do these videos, give people trust in the car, and uh, it uh, encourages them to travel to buy which is great. We are selling vehicles all over the UK and uh, actually abroad as well. We've just got somebody up from France at the moment who wants to buy a vehicle and uh, we had one go over to Ireland last week. If this uh, video has been of any benefit to you, I always leave them on YouTube after we've sold them. Um, in the top left hand corner there should be uh, a little eye if you click on that you'll be able to see a 360 degree interior view of the vehicle uh, a, we a website trailer this test drive and uh, also just a full video of um, round and about the car please like and subscribe if it has been of any use to you